So this morning I am off to get a morning sunrise uh, video or photos of, uh, of this giant sculpture in Scotland near a place called Falkirk called the Kelpies. It's these two gi giant horses' heads. Um, and uh, it is, it's ten past seven in the morning, uh, Sunday, uh, it's really nice and quiet, uh, it's a crisp morning, so crisp, there's a fantastic kind of haze uh, just coming up off the fields, in fact, I wonder if I can show you, can fl uh, I'll flip the camera around, uh, but it's just, oh, it just looks so good, it's very low-lying fog uh, mist off the, off the, things and that really is what makes getting up early in the morning so worth it whenever you're driving along it's just starting to get sunny and you've got this I'll show you this obviously I've got my uh, camera attached to the windscreen so it's not probably the best angle but it's just a brilliant little bit of mist and what you can't see is actually directly above is blue sky so as soon as the sun uh, rises it's going to clear away the kind of top layers of the mist and it's going to be a brilliant low-lying fog um, going on um, so yeah, very excited about uh, getting out to the Kelpies first thing in the morning. Hopefully there'll be only a, a very few number of other people there and uh, it'll be cool. Okay, this is a little bit weird. Uh, I'm at the place with the, where the Kelpies are meant to be. Uh, it's, it's called the Helix. Um, and you can see there that's, that's the kind of gift shop and card shop or uh, ticket office if you want to get a guided tour. But I can't see, I haven't been here before, so I'm like going, where are the Kelpies? Uh, I'm, I'm thinking if that's the ticket office there, maybe it's through here, but if it is, that's so creepy because you can't see anything. And it's still pretty dark. It doesn't look like the sun is going to be uh, doing any any uh, lifting of the moisture just now, but, oh, no. Yes, I'm right. That's them there. <laughs> oh my God, it's misty. Okay, now, now it's cool. I've got obviously some red lights in it as well, which uh, massively increase its coolness. So there is a big, was it 47 megawatt tower? And there's the Kelpies. Cool. So main road there, and then these guys. Solid zinc, I think they're made of never known it to have the red lights in it before, but that is very, very cool. But the idea was to come here and uh, take some photos, some uh, long exposures and stuff like that with like clouds moving, but just because it's so misty, it's not going to happen. But as you can see, oh, so cool. And that's one of the awesome things about this just now is that it's free. It's just like an open park. Uh, these things cost millions and millions of pounds to make um, and uh, look awesome, yet there's nobody here on a Sunday at half seven in the morning because honestly, who gets up at that time? But uh, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're quite difficult to... Uh, they're so cool! So cool! Uh, um, so what this actual place is, is a... Um, what do you call it? A thing for boats to go from one place to another. Uh, so that's where the boats go off to Falkirk. They go through this thing, lock and then go off that way somewhere. And these guys are the, the gatekeepers, as it were. And now it's effectively just a waiting game to see if, uh, if the, the, the mist does clear up because it is just thick mist. There's no wind to blow it away, so it'd just be if the sun could get through. Like, just a couple of miles back down the road, there's blue sky, which is awesome, which makes me think it's up there. It's definitely up there, but uh, you gotta wait until there's a little bit clear.
Now, the next spot I've come to is a place called the Falkirk Wheel, which is, again is another canal thing, but instead of using lots of little locks to get from one height to another, what they've done is made, oh my god, you can't even see it, one, one giant turning thing. I'll show you. Hold on. Oh, and there's also some examples, many examples of the Kelpies here, but there you go, look at that. So the boats go into that, then the whole thing spins round and goes in the water. But again, so misty just now. Ooh, there it is. Hard to see anything, so it's really creepy. Cool for photos though. Okay, three hours later and uh, <laughs> I can see there is a sun trying to peek out out there, but otherwise uh, it's a no-go. So I'm going to go to another place uh, just now called Stirling and see if I can uh, go around a thing called the Wallace Monument, which is pretty cool, um, and have a look at that. Because that's a little bit higher up, maybe the wind's blown away, the mist, but absolutely nothing happening here today. Just, just mist all day long. And the closer you get to the monument, uh, the, this is the Wallace Monument, the cooler it is. Let's see, can you see it there? There it is big, big tower up there, so got to show you some cooler shots that you can't get from the ground. One last thing is that if you are on my photography channel, you may not know that I've got two other channels. One is my exercise channel, which you can check out, which is Don Bauer Exercise. Uh, I think the actual name is just youtube.com forward slash Don Bauer. And I've also got another one on this channel, uh, so I've got Dom's Talks. And a lot of that is going to be about well, me dealing with my first ever newborn baby, uh, little Logan Bauer. Uh, born on the 4th of September, uh, and so I'm, I'm learning to be a dad. So it's all my mistakes and all the things which I'm learning which are quite useful. So if you want to see more about little Logan and how he's getting on, check out Dom's talks. And if you want to see, oh, I've also got Dom's flights as well. So uh, again, I'm doing a lot of stuff flying my DJI Phantom uh, around the places uh, and also going through the, the process of getting the, li the license to do it commercially. So if you want to see how I'm doing that, check out the Dom's Flights channel as well. I should put all the links to down below. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.